All right, yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all with a curveball. Okay. How do y'all feel about, and this, this kind of relates to the Young Thug situation. Mm -hmm. How do y'all feel about lyrics being used against artists? Uh, me personally, I don't really fuck with that. I don't fuck with that. Just by the simple fact that, you can say example, anything. For example, I don't see a lot of shit. I did a lot of shit myself, I ain't gonna speak on it, but like I said, I, I grew up around a lot of gang members, and when I write, that's my therapy. You know what I mean? I, I can't really say it anyway. I'm not gonna go pick up a gun and start robbing people and shit, you know what I mean? So the best way for me to express myself is through what I've been through. And I think it's pretty messed up when they can use my lyrics against me when I'm just speaking of past experiences, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Is where, when I grew up, it wasn't no gold spoon in my mouth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would walk to high school, to my schools and shit like that, you know, there'd be gang members at the park. I had to walk to niggas selling drugs and shit like that, you know what I mean? Niggas getting jumped back to back, you know what I mean? You know, I used to always be afraid of shit, what if it's me one day, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I speak on stuff that I've been through and I've witnessed and, you know, for somebody to use that against me, it's like, what you want me to do? I didn't grow up coming outside the door and seeing, you know, a nice family taking the kids to the bus stop. You no, know, I grew up, I came outside of the, you know, the next door neighbor was probably selling dope and shit like that. That's all I, that's all I knew and that's all I saw, you know what I mean? So, that's how I express myself, you know, it'd be different if I grew up in a nice neighborhood. I don't have no gangster shit to talk about because I didn't live it. Right. You know what I mean? So I won't be talking about stuff that I've seen. Yo, I, should, I was 13 driving a Mercedes. That wasn't me, you know what I mean? So right. I can't fake the funk, you know what I mean? Right. I'm going to speak about experiences and shit like that. And to use that against me, it's pretty messed up, you know what I mean? I'm not active, but you're going to lock me up because of what I said in the back. It's not, it's, that's not dope. Right? Right. One way or another, we got to release ourselves. Right. Now, but if it was a confession, basically, where... Mm. You are talking about details that wasn't released to the public, and only that you know. Okay, now granted, now at that, at that point it's on you. That's yeah, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 that point is on you. Yeah. But, you but other, 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 yeah. other situation is like I can I can get on a song and say anything. You feel me? Right. And you or you just happen to hear this song and you be like, oh no, yeah, we gotta get bro, cause. He basically confessed me or something like, but how you gonna, how you know I ain't lying? Right. I mean, but like I said, I'm talking about. But if you, if they got a case in the DA, if they got a case on you, yeah, and you basically confess it, then that's on you. Right. Right. You know what I mean? And that's like on that. What do uh, that? Why? Why in? Why in them manly or some shit like that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's been. They got yeah. a whole song about killing his own. Yeah. They got a whole song about the shit. Yeah, but it's like if you tell, you basically tell on yourself, on yourself, you snitching on yourself, and now you mad. You're like, but too, I feel like, I feel like. It be someone that they go back way too far in the old ass shit that you just see. Like they can't open cases before you even blew they up. Like, like, before you even blew up. up. Yeah, I mean, but if it's if if it's no statute of limitations on the case, especially if you're dealing with some type of murder, mm -hmm. and someone come out ten years later and give clear cut details, they can still open it back up. Please. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like I say, do you think that you know lyrics should be, you know? Uh, let me make sure I'm pulling the question right. You know what I mean? Do you think they should be able to use those lyrics against an artist? Especially if he's self if, if 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 you just rap about, like, oh, I'm finna beat a nigga ass this weekend. No, but if you're oh, yeah. talking about, oh, at 5 o'clock, I shot Chad over there by yeah. Hollowfield. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's on you. you. That's on yeah. you. That's on you. Hey, left the gun under a brick. I left the gun under a brick. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, yeah. with some hollow points. A lot of, a lot, a lot of the cops, bro, uh, investigators, bro, they not stupid. They gonna, they gonna know if you, oh, that's just a regular song versus, oh yeah, you gotta watch them, right? You gotta watch them. They, they gonna build a case up on you. That's just, that's just, that's just your dumb ass if you confess to it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean, cause right is right wrong is wrong. Right. Yeah. So if you telling yourself, you know you did something, you telling yourself, then you deserve to get what you get. Yeah, don't right. put it in the song, bro. Right. You gotta, that's sloppy. Before we move on, you think Young Thug beat that case? I think he is. Do you think he beat? Do you think he beat the case? Oh shit! I, I'm in the real bro. I ain't never really been. I ain't really been on that. I just I don't know. Man, you got guys. I know. Copping, please turn the black back. Yeah, I just I just be scared yeah, through. Yeah, really yeah I was there. I did it. I seen him. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I want to say. 
I got faith for him to come out, but at the same time, it's Rico. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not. It is. When Rico gets you, that's a hard thing to get out of. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a lot of people that get out of that shit. So, you know, and they do actually have evidence on him too on top of that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I got faith. Hopefully he comes out. But if it doesn't, it's not a surprise though. Yeah, it's a Rico case. That's what's up. Now, just recently, T-Pain was at the, um, he was honored at Cascade, right? Right. And uh, they had a big performance for him and he ain't show up. And there was a little bit of behind the, you know, it, there was more to the story. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, now I'm not really up on everything that was said or, or everything that was going on. But how do y'all feel about, you know, that whole T-Pain situation? So I watched all of the video, all of the, the, the just everything that he said. And before I even heard it, I was in his defense because I've heard of things that happened before he even spoke on it. You feel me? And it's just like, I always felt like, why should you come back to do something for people who shit on you? Right. And then when I actually heard, and people were like, oh, well, he needed this, he needed that. That man don't, that man don't owe us nothing. Even if, no. even if they didn't do nothing to him, he don't owe Tallahassee nothing. Right. You feel me? The fact that he did what he did is enough. You feel me? And I think it's just people, it's like, for what y'all want to come back for? So y'all can say he came, mm -hmm. you want a handout, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. So it's like, once he explained what happened, and he broke it down as to why, it's like, okay, well, what can you say? Can you blame T-Pain now? Mm -hmm. Or do you say, because I'm really post about it, I'm like, okay, y'all done, done got on T-Pain because he didn't want to come. Now he's explaining himself, are y'all going to go at the, up, the upper, you know, the people in the upper room oh, and stuff? Talking? He basically was saying that Cedar Tallahassee did a lot of underhanded things mm -hmm. and that was very unprofessional mm -hmm. and was trying to basically get him to do a lot for nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And when he tried to do certain things, they basically shitted on him, like he said. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like, why would you come back? Because it might happen again. Even he had things that happened, he still came back. Something happened, he still, still came, came back. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And they tried to get him to come again and he was going to come. But then they flipped the script about the whole road change and then tried to finesse them into going to this 50 years of uh, hip hop thing. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, you got people to come to Tallahassee from New York to perform, but you ain't had nobody from Tallahassee to perform. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what they tried to slide him in to do. And he caught on to it and told them no. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like, it's like you go to a job or you get some homies and you're like, man, every time, every time I came forward, bro, because every time I we go around, we're doing some shady shit. I'm not gonna fuck with them. So it's like every time I come home to my city, which is supposed to be my home city, I, I was born here, they know me from here. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It ain't like I came here a few years ago, I lived here, then I blew up. This is where he's from. Right. And when you try to do so much, and you feel me, you do this big free concert, you bring a bunch of famous artists here, and they still do so many things to where it's like, it's wrong, and he looks over it and still come back, do wrong, look over it, and you still come back, and they still doing wrong, and then they put it in the newspaper. Hmm. And then try to turn back and ask for an interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Then the thing with FAMU is like, no, this the FAMU, but it's like, you this man comes here to shoot his video. Oh, hold on, before you say that, y'all yeah. had a problem with him saying titties. Titties? Like, hey, look, man, I'm gonna say it right now. Who don't love titties? Come on, BLB love titties. Like, I, 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 time, I, I, time. I understand, fam, you, what y'all stand for, whatever, you know, but you could have at least, you know, Bro, told you the Florida State. Well, we're, gonna blur, long we're, we're gonna blur that, that word out. Y'all could have just blurred the word out. But at the same time, like, it's titties, man. Like, he went to Florida State with that same song. Oh, and they it's told him. You know, Yes, you can perform your, you can shoot your video here wherever you want to. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you yeah, feel me? And we all know, I ain't, you know, we know what Florida State is. Mm -hmm. Oh, white university. Yeah, go Gators. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I ain't talk right now because you know my team lost the other day. Yeah. <laughs> they Miami fans. You feel me? But it's just the fact of, it's just the fact of like, like I said before, right, right, wrong, wrong. Right. You tell this man he can't shoot his video because he said titties when the song is basically clean. Mm -hmm. It's a big song. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But then you turn around and want this man to give y'all a donation. Exactly, right. For what? 
What am I gonna give you money for? You basically telling me I can't shoot my video because I said titties. Nah, yeah. You feel me? Like who am who am I offending by saying titties? Yeah. Should I have said breast? Breasts. Booby lips or something? Oh, yeah. You feel yeah. Booby yeah. blades. Yeah. Yeah, booby blades. Yeah. She got those booby blades. I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep it simple and keep it short. The missionaries say titties in this interview and they gonna cut our shit off. I don't cut our shit off. But um Speaking from a realistic standpoint, bro, the shit that the commissioner said, I'm from Tallahassee, I'm from the same area he came from. He was a role model for me, for real. Right. Yeah. That's it. I was around them guys. Like that's my it. uncle was in the that head group. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to Rabbi. Rabbi, he, he didn't have to give me no money for me to believe. You know what I'm saying? I just seen somebody from Rears Road, a rapper, can't can, can make it. That's it's simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's simple. So, I'm gonna tell you one part. I don't want to talk too long. It was one part. That, it was one part that he said that really pissed me off. When he told me when he flew here and he drove his Lamborghini through the, he drove, I think it was Lamborghini Ferrari, one of them. Yeah, yeah. Lambo, yeah, Lambo. He drove it through the city, showing the kids like, you feel me? This is what you can have if you really, you know. And he was like, after the show, his boss came to him and told him that the city told him they ran his tag and his license was suspended, and basically told him if they see him riding in that car again, he's going to jail. Which I'm like, for, first of all, why you running this man tag if he wasn't doing that crazy, yeah, just driving yeah. the car to, to different places or whatever. Then he was saying about how he did jail time. He didn't, he was like, he really didn't do jail time. He said he did community, community service, service and he yeah. stayed at a hotel the whole time. So it's like they just wanted that image of him mm -hmm. being in court, going to, look, looking like he's going to jail to try to make an example. For what? Why? Yeah. They just show that they don't care about it. Yeah, don't, you know, they don't care about his success. They don't give a damn who he's uh, motivating. You know what I mean? He, they don't care about the man at all. It doesn't matter how how much good T Pain puts into the city. The higher ups are not gonna give a damn about one thing. And I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm gonna piss off some people, but yeah. It's pretty I messed up. Like, you know, when it comes to T-Pain, like I said, it don't matter what he does. You know, he can donate $10 million to Tallahassee schools and stuff like that. It's yeah. still going to knock the man yeah. down. You know what I mean? The city, the not the city, not the people, but the higher ups just don't like him. He know? said that. He was like, when I speak on Tallahassee, yeah, I, don't on the higher up. I speak yeah. on the higher up. I don't speak on the people because the people, we fuck with him. He know it. But and, and, and that thing where they shut the lights off and everything. Yeah, yeah, look, nice. I'm gonna tell you right they now. Shut the they yeah, shut the yeah, lights. They, they, they turned the whole thing off. And lights so, so Fantasia. So, so, and walking forward. So he was uh, supposed to open for who? Fantasia. Fantasia. So yeah. they actually let uh, Fantasia go first. Well, he, then, was, he was supposed. To, he was. A, it was supposed to be for him. No, they, it, but yeah, then they flipped it. They flipped it, and then he was the last one. Mid performance, they turned off the lights on him, and he. In his Instagram, he put the video, he has proof of it. They turned up yeah. the lights off. I'm gonna say, yo, T Pain, his patience is incredible because if somebody would have turned the lights off, well, yeah. I would have been oh, somebody, somebody, everybody. Everybody. He was crazy. He was crazy. He said that they was, when they turned the lights off, it was it was like fucking employees behind him unplugging shit. Unplugging shit. Yeah. I think I would have been slamming and whatever. Like, it'd be the all eight, just chill. Did you? You ever been man? T Pain, look, bro. You ever been robbed? You about to get robbed? T Pain, would you see this? If, even if you don't, BMB, we fuck with you. Yeah, we fuck you know with you. Saying? You can tell that's a hero, tell that's pain. And I, I'm going to say this right now, T Pain, if you ever watch this, I hope you do. I come from Opala, Texas. Opala, Texas is like 26 hours from here. Opala, Texas at the time, fuck with you heavy, bro. You know what I mean? When I was in high school, it was, you know, a lot of motherfuckers were listening to T Pain. Everything you know with T Pain, bro. So, it, it, you know. You influence a lot of us, you know what I mean? And and the fact that not only can you sing, but when I found out you can spit bars, what? I was like, damn, bro. Like, he's really making me feel like, man, this nigga do with the, the same shit that I'm doing. Like, <laughs> if he can make it, then shit, I can do it too. And I was living in Texas at the time, you know what I mean? I wasn't living in Tallahassee. So, moving to Tallahassee, you know, seeing the people, how much the people loved him here, it was like, damn, I'm seeing it from people who actually came up around him and right. shit like that. So it's like, that was more motivating for me. Because growing up in Opala, Texas, I used to always be like, man, I want to go to, you know, T-Pain City, Tallahassee and shit like that. And now that I live in it and now, you know, speaking on people that know him personally, I was like, damn, bro, like, 
it was motivating back then, but seeing people who knew him personally and shit, it's yeah. like it's more motivating now, you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's crazy, yo. That's what's up. That's what's up. Like I said, I feel about the impact that this rap culture and music have on you with all the violence that's going on right now. Because like I say, man, hip hop is getting very, very bad rap. Honestly, in my opinion, and I can speak on this with a, whole, with a lot of different situations. I mean, I don't really think it, to me, as far as like violence, well, I don't really think it got that much of an impact. And the only reason I say that is because everybody have their own mind. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I've seen, i watched uh, stuff about people saying, oh, I don't want my child listening to this song or playing this video game because they, they still don't do it. It's like, my thing about it is, it's all about how you raise your, kid, your children. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then once they get old enough to think for themselves, it's your choice to do it mm -hmm. or whatever. But don't tell me, oh, I was influenced to go rob a bank. Uh, I was influenced to go shoot up a cop because I listened to NWA. Mm -hmm. No, you decided to do that because you wanted to go do it. Mm -hmm. You have enough common sense to say, oh, I know this ain't right. So once you, once you realize that ain't right, you still have a choice. Do I do it or, or not? So once you make that choice to do it, that's your choice. Don't, right. don't try to put it on the music. And that's what happened. People don't think about that. They just say, oh, he was listening to rap, and that's what made him go shoot up these people or go rob the bank or something like that. No, everything is everybody's choice. Mm -hmm. you, you're not really, I don't care what, like, I can't make, I can't, I can tell this man every day, man, hey, man, I don't like that motherfucker right there. I don't like her right there. We should go, we should go kill him. We should go kill him. He still got the choice if he want to go do it or not. Right. Regardless of what I say, he's going to try to influence He just want to do it. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel like everything is everything is a conscious choice, right? Of what you decide to do, right? Not because of you heard some. Because I've listened to all kind of rap. I done played all of the games, the killing, the grand theft autos and stuff. My record clean. I'm 32. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like I got driving defenses. But yeah, it's, I feel like everything is just a conscious choice or whatever. You decide or you decide on what you want to do. It's not about no song or no no movie or no game none of that shit. So it's more bad parenting than yeah, because you're gonna be more you you're more influenced or you're more influenced by the people that's more important to you and that you see on the regular. True. Even because you know a song is a song, right. a video game is a video game, right. a movie is a movie. Mm -hmm. But that's your mama, that's your daddy, your cousin, your brother. Mm -hmm. These are people that these are people that's physically there. Mm -hmm that you see and you speak to on a regular, you feel me? So you're gonna to listen to them, you're gonna be more easily influenced by them. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of parents that let their kids do so much and don't don't check on them, don't pay attention to what they're doing. My mama kept, my mama, listen. <laughs> Shout out to mama. Listen, boy, my mama was strict on me, but right. my mama let me right. be a kid. But my mama always knew what I was doing. Right. You feel me? So I couldn't even try to slip and slide if I wanted to slip and slide. Right. You feel me? So it's all about that. I ain't saying always be in your kids' business, mm -hmm. but always know what your kids doing as best you can. Amen. Oh yeah. Because once they step out the door, mm -hmm. you have no control. All you can say is, I taught them as well as I could. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna hope that when they get out into the world, they just apply what I taught. That's what's up. You feel me? And if they choose not to, that's their decision. Mm -hmm. But it's not influenced about something that they saw, they heard, they saw. Like, uh, all that bit, like, man, you need to stop that shit. I think another thing, and me and Boo Blue is always talk about this, always talk about this a lot. Um, shout out to my dad again. One thing my dad, the way he raised me and my sisters and my brothers, like, when he told us he didn't want us to do something, it wasn't just a, don't do that, go sit your ass down. Mm -hmm. He told us why he didn't want us exactly, to do that. Exactly. Yeah. Why you shouldn't do that, you know right. what I'm saying? And he wasn't, he, he let us, like, we didn't do what we want to do, but he wasn't, like, like strict, strict on us. But he didn't let us do no crazy shit. Like, um, but, yeah, going back to the, he told us, he, I don't want you to do this because this is what, this is what can happen. Yeah. It wasn't just a, I don't want you to do that. Kids ain't going to never know, like, why you saying that. They're they going to just gonna make them want to do it more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, That's yeah. what's up. You want to speak on that? Um, now, I'm going to talk about the impact in hip-hop that has to the youth. Uh, before I start with that, I do believe that the reason why a lot of uh, hip hop is getting a bad rap is because a lot of the youngins want to do what the, these other rappers are doing. Now, right now, these youngins killing youngins. 
mm -hmm. right now. And that's yes. what everybody's wanting to focus on. You got people from, you know, Texas, Florida, you know, different places that want to be like these, these rappers from Chicago. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They just, all they want to do is kill themselves. So, so they see that and they want to do that. Um, but on the positive side, I feel like hip hop gives these youth, uh, younger kids it makes it, it gives them a chance to be able to do something different. You know what I mean? Let me, you know, I see all these rappers become something. They leave the hood. A lot of them don't come back. They forget about that shit because they want a better life. And I like the fact that some of the youngins follow that and don't look back. You know what I mean? You become something. You know, become something great and don't look back. You know what I mean? Fuck whoever says you know, man, you turn your back on the hood. The hood never did shit for me. No, right. Yeah, the, hood, right. The, the hood took half of my homeboys. The right. hood took my family and shit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. I'm trying to leave. If you think that I turn my back on the hood, then you know you got damn right. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if I didn't do what I did, what I did, I would have ended up just like my homeboys. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So that's the positive side. But you know, like like like, like they said, um, it is catching the bad rep. You know, because you got like I said, you got this other youngest who want to be gangsters, you know. Growing up um, on the west side of Apollo, Texas, that's where, you know, some of the rich people live. So, growing up when I was living in Apollo, Texas, I would sometimes, you know, go pick up certain stuff from these kids that lived in a nice ass house. Parents are still together, dad is a lawyer, mom is a doctor, whatever, and shit like that. And they coming outside, you know, with their pants sagging and selling dope. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? You like, got everything yeah, together and shit like that. But then from, front from, front from right. experience, when you talk to them, you know, they used to, you know, talk about Gucci Mane, Young Jeezy. So it's like, you got your whole life together, but you're trying to be like them, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? So hip hop is catching a bad rep because it's making a lot of these kids that have no business in the street want to be in the streets because they see all these motherfuckers doing the same shit too. You know what I mean? The young generation, unfortunately, can be influenced to do anything stupid just to say that they're cool, just to be able to have, you know, bitches or have niggas around them when in reality, you know, 90% of the niggas that's around you don't really, really fuck with you. And they don't know how they get you. Hey, yeah. 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 As soon as you reach the top, one of them is going to backstab you. You know what I mean? So, it's, it, yeah, it's getting the bad rep because, you know, you, you got a lot of these kids that have no business in the streets, wanted to be in the streets because of what they see. They're being influenced by that shit. You know what I mean? Me growing up, I really wasn't influenced. I listened to a lot of DMX, you know. You know right. DMX? DMX talks about some crazy shit in oh, the yeah. mm -hmm. I never went out there wanted to do what he did. Mm -hmm. I did graffiti, mm -hmm. but it was like, you know, I had a consciousness, you know what I mean? I'm like, man, if I, if I rob this motherfucker and I shoot him, most likely I'm probably gonna get caught. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So get away with shit like that, it's not that easy. Yeah. So I try to stay on the easy side doing graffiti, but I ain't gonna lie, my mom and my dad did a good job raising me, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it was like, when I would see these rappers on TV, I didn't go do shit, but at the same time, I would be thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, man, I should go rob somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it, it Hip hop is a 50 50, you know, mm -hmm. and like Black said, it depends on how your parents raise you. Right. If your parents raise you that right way, right. and you're gonna fuck up every now and then. We're all humans yeah. and shit like that, but you're gonna know exactly what not to step into. Right. Parents who don't give a damn about their kids, so the first kids out there that you see murdering people, mm -hmm. you know, doing shit that they ain't supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So, like Black said, it also has a lot to do with the parents. Me growing up, my mama didn't listen, let, let me listen to DMX. Right. But I would sneak to the living room and put the radio all the way down to listen to DMX, you know what I mean? Yeah. So but my mama did a good job. My dad did a, 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 a damn good job, too. So, but it's like Black said, you know what I mean? It's all about the parents at the end of the day, too. So, you know, know what they say, though, first thing? The first thing they say, oh, I, I know my baby wasn't doing that. Right. <laughs> Man, you knew what he was doing. 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 I'm going to say this about DMX also. DMX will hit you with one of them prayers, make it change your whole life around. I'm going to say this. He taught me how to pray. Right. He taught me how to pray. You know, um, my mama, you know, taught me how to pray, but it was like, that's my mama. You know, us yeah. as young kids, we like, oh, mom, you, you, here I go again when it was a kid. <laughs> but listening to other people who 
really went through the struggle and then to be able to talk like that, he taught me how to pray, you know, because of DMX I started praying, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, because of DMX I decided to, you know what I mean, I'm not all the way in, but I have a, a kind of a relationship with God, mm -hmm. and it all started with DMX, like I said, I relate to a lot of the stuff that DMX spoke about, because I done been through it, I done did it, and at the same time it was, you know, he did all this fucked up shit, right. but he still looked up to God. Right. So it's like, damn, if God can still be at one with him, man, no matter how much I fuck up, I, I know for a fact he's with me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah he, he, he's the one that taught me how to pray. That's exactly what's up, man. Let me tell you something, Harold. I think they hit that damn curveball at the park, man. It's, it's somewhere out in the park, man. Yeah. 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 What's on the horizon for Beast Mode Boys, man? You know what I'm saying? What's some of the things y'all, some of the projects y'all working on? Shit, man, we got, <laughs> we got a lot of projects. We got a lot of projects. <laughs> um, right now, man, we got um, we got multiple projects. We just, um, it is in the process of writing and recording. It's not really nothing that's complete, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of stuff developing. Mm -hmm. um, also, we have a project with Umbravo. Shout out yeah, to Umbravo. Umbravo! Yeah, we Boy, have Umbravo. Umbravo. Boy, that dude got some wild stories. <laughs> Umbravo! <laughs> Well, yeah. you still, hey, you still the champ, bro. We ain't heard nothing like that, no, bro. You still the champ. <laughs> nah, Go ahead. We, we got a project with him, and uh, that's a project that I'm waiting for it to finish because mm -hmm. that, that, that whole project finished. is fire. I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> that whole project is fire. That's one project that I'm really waiting for to finish. But uh, we also got stuff with Tribe Nation. Yeah. Um, we got double, it looks like a double, a double album, double album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Double album, Gorilla Nation. Shout out to Gorilla Nation. With Gorilla Nation. Shout out to Gorilla Nation. Yeah. Gorilla Nation running, running it in the background. You feel me? Big shout out, man. Hey, man. since we since we linked up with them, been number of smooth sailing. Good things going. They really uh pushing us to do a lot of things that we didn't even know we needed to do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because we were just back. They tested us. They tested us. Yeah, it's yeah. So, it's but, it, but it's work. It, it, you know, it's good. It's good. So they've been they've been having our back for a while. And it's, it's funny, and I, 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 I mention it all the time, they were always next to us, but we never yeah, knew. Yeah, it's never crazy as hell. They was always there. Like, like, we never knew, like, they was right there. But every time we were somewhere, more than likely, they were in the same spot. Mm -hmm. And then we just ended up linking up. We just, we just united. And they just Shout coming together. Shout out to my brother, too, off the camera. Do it proof? Do it proof? There we go. But yeah, yeah, that's about it. If somebody want to get in contact with the Beast Mode boys, how do they go about doing that? Hit either, either one of us up. At uh, you know, websites. Uh, so right now, I, I got a Instagram, boobyblaze187. Mm -hmm. If you want to hit me up right there, feel free to more to hit me up. Uh, I had a Facebook. I made a Facebook of uh, my profile, but, uh, you know, all this Facebook jail. <laughs> so, so, you can reach me out at Instagram right now for now, but. I want to see some of that artwork, man. You got some of your artwork on your Instagram? Um, not on my Instagram, but I can I can post them. I get I got some with me, you know. I uh I do doodle a lot, do graffiti, I do draw and shit. So mm -hmm. yeah, y'all 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 be uh y'all check up sooner or later, you know. I'll have some of my artwork up and stuff like that. But right now I'm just focused on the rap stuff. Right That's now. what's up. At social media presence. Uh, Black Star official. Black Star with two R's. Black Star official on all platforms. Ten pages on Instagram. Oh my God, here we go. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Be Smoke Boys at TikTok too, and Be Smoke Boys at Twitter, and Be Smoke Boys on Instagram, Be Smoke Boys 07 on Instagram. Um, we're working on some other stuff too, working on the website. But yeah, Black Star Official 2 R's on everything, and uh, Be Smoke Boys 07 on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. <laughs> You find me on Facebook. Fuck. Man, what's wrong with Facebook? No, no, no. I'm just, I, I had a, I had a MySpace. No, nah, bro. I started thinking about some 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 crazy funny shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, nah, find you can find me on Facebook. Um, NBK Big O. Um, I just made a new Instagram because my old one got deactivated. So what about shit? But um, it's underscore NBK Big O underscore. Oh, um, Snapchat NBK Big O. Um, YouTube NBK Big O. Porn hub NBK Big O. That's what's up. That's what's up. Did you say porn hub? Yeah. yeah I was like, let me see if he gonna slide through. <laughs> <laughs> you, you say porn hub, big old. It's videos too, actually. 
Why ain't that shit on none of them? Uh, okay, okay, okay. So you got that premium. You got that premium. You got that premium. It's really got that on there. It's really got that on there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man, hey. Man, we enjoy sitting down talking to you. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, much success to you guys, man. I can't wait to see the the upcoming projects. You know what I mean? Uh, Can I throw yeah. something in there? Throw some, throw whatever you want to do. Hey, check me out, right? So, December 1st, we got a verse coming up. You feel me? It's going down. Hey, y'all gonna, gonna see all about it all on social media. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna disclose who it's against, but just know we gonna be finna come say that shit now. Come through. It's gonna be at the plant December 1st. It's gonna be a verse. Just keep a lookout for it, man. Y'all follow us on all social media, and you're going to see what we're talking about. Beast Mode Boys, thank y'all for taking the time to sit down and talk with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. It's, been, it's been wonderful, man. Uh, for my main man, Big Bad Harold, Mr. Great Fox, holding in the road, y'all know what it is. Till next time, y'all live right, play oh, fair. I left. Oh. Yes, sir. Deep. I gotta go blast, I gotta go raw, I gotta go spare. Reloading my bullets, we running it back. We popping the nigga, we off in the bands. Better prepare, we don't play fair. Shooting your dog, we all up in here. Nigga, you puss, you ain't no crook. Better come better, we locked in here. Shoot them shots, gotta get that now. Come get lit, nigga, fuck them cops. Word of my pops, niggas, I'm that hot. Word of my pops, niggas, I will pop. You get knocked straight out of your socks. You get blocked like shackles on top. Nigga, don't fuck with me, I got all of my niggas, we wildin' outside. Fuck with them prayers, my niggas will lay up a couple of paters, my niggas is chance. Busting the tool your out of the window. We popping extenders, we ruling the van. Better be ready and busting it back. Hold on my killer, we never run back. Run that shit, give me that bitch. Don't talk back, you might get rid. Use a punk ass nigga, what you want? I know you scared, nigga. Don't make me go and pop the trunk. Nigga, don't make me violate you in front of your bitch here with this punk. Nigga, this serious BNB. Fuck your piece, we finna run some. Run it.